I started running while I was in class one. At that time, never took my talent so serious. I was still a champion back when I was still young. Um, I continued to nurture my talent until class seven, but I had some series of injuries. Getting to high school, I began now to sharpen my skills a bit, but never had a good coach. I had to plan for was if I finished my high school, I will take this talent as a career so that I will take it far. What interested me so much is that my father was a sprinter in the 80s, late 80s. Um, he was a 200 meter runner for the police. Um, he used to win some gold medals, some silvers. I saw him once at the podium a long time ago at Kasarani. Also used to do long jump. I didn't have the reason why he stopped, but for me something came with, within me, so I had to continue with what he had stopped. I took the talent from him and I had to deliver it from him. My first coach who has ever coached me was Stephen Moniki in prisons when I finished high school. That was in 2013, December. And um, he took me till national finals and I finished number seven. And after that, I had to pick on a new coach, Coach Peter Gatana, last year, August. He took me to Kekoso. After that, we came back, we had to discuss on some major areas and on our major goals on how we are going to tackle this 2015. I actually met, met him from a crisis. I was working with the poster team for Kekoso Games and I, I didn't have one person for the relay. And then he came in mind and when he came, I trained him for two weeks and I liked him. I was like, this is the kind of a guy I want. He runs the way I want. So I convinced him to stay with us and that is the beginning of his success. In 2014, I used to do 200 and 100. As we were speaking with him, we had agreed that this year we had to focus first on the 100. Focusing on this 100 first, my main goal was to break the Kenyan record this 2015. Unfortunately, didn't manage due to time, but all in all, Kenyan record is still one of my aim. I had to focus on one race, then the next year I'll have to shift to the other. We had to sharpen some few skills, and um, see some weakness. I think he's the most improved sprinter this year because last year was number seven nationals. He finished second and uh, in nationals, he went to Bahamas for the all relays. Then he was the national team in Congo, Brazzaville. And he reached semis and he missed the finals by 0.03. I really worked, I toiled so hard last year of season. So this year I had to come back and beat each and every person slowly by slowly, starting with this athletic series and um, reaching to the nationals. I really thank God so much. We have a lot to improve in him. His strength level is not where we want. His power level is not where we want. But his mechanics is the best. He's even better than the world-class sprinters. He's the next big thing. My first role model is Usain Bolt. Um, he has really inspired me so much because of his success while he was still young during his 15-year-old championship till where he is right now. Mark loves anything about Bolt. He wants to run like Bolt. He wants to do, do everything like Bolt. He is the Bolt in Kenya. Um, if I ever found myself with Usain Bolt next to me at the same race when it's 100 meter finals, it will be a great, great, great achievement because I would have really worked hard starting from the heats till the semis, till the finals. Mark needs to be Mark. He needs to find his identity. If you see him running, he doesn't run like Bolt. He runs like a Safa Powell. Incidentally, so I would like him to get like a good start like a Safa Powell and then finish like Bolt. The sprinter challenges that we face is lack of facilities. Another challenge is most of us don't come from upper class families, so most of us hustle so hard. Financially, he has been getting help from the, his parents, and the parents are not doing very well. We just try to work with what we had and try to maximize with what we get. Like, we go to affordable gym, affordable field. Other challenges is that most of the athletes are never learning more about athletics. Most of us just get into and never learn more. People should learn more and more, more things like supplements and all other things. We're trying to secure him a job, 
but he's financially better because from the allowance he got for in being in the Kenya team, we're using it as a, a stepping stone to Rio, and it's possible because he's just he needs 1016, he's in 1041. But we don't want to get to 1016, we want to get faster than that. We want to do a sub 10, or if you're not fast enough, you can do 10 or something. If you only you can get help to get a few races outside to help him in preparation for Rio, he is going to Rio. My future goals in the sprints, three years to come, I want to conquer Africa. Next year, I'm planning on going for Rio in Olympics. I want to also rank myself again with the other, with the other world class athletes. Then after that, I go plan again myself, then see for the next of the other future. I see myself at the podium. Right on his shoulder. I'm just going to match it.